And we have a question. Broken Arrow comes in with, he has 64 gigabytes of Vulcan Z. He's got two by 32 gigs. It's confirmed on the QVL. He has an MSI Mag X570 Tomahawk motherboard, and he can only get it to run at 2400 max, even with XMP and uh, manually set to 32. He has a 3900X CPU and he wants to know our thoughts. Well, he's not going to want to know my thoughts, but I'm <laughs> gonna share my thoughts anyway. And it's interesting because I actually have the exact same RAM kit here that he's got. This is T-Force Vulcan Z DDR4 3200 um, two by 32 gigabytes memory kits. Now, I don't have an X570 Tomahawk, but I do have an X570 Ace, Ace. both from MSI. Uh, I had a, a 3900X on it, and then I've put other Zen 3 chips and other Zen 2 chips on it. What you are experiencing is the unfortunate reality of AMD. This isn't going to make you feel any better. Now, he checked the QVL. He did. The qualified vendor list, which means it's been tested and it should work. Well, it should, it should. usually, most of the time. But the truth of the matter is, memory ICs get changed. This specific, even though I have the quote, same memory kit that he's got, doesn't mean that the memory integrated circuits are the exact same under here. Correct. Maybe they're both the same brand. Maybe they're both SK Hynix. Maybe they're both, uh, you know. Um, Samsung. Samsung, maybe, they're probably not Samsung. Maybe they're both crucial. They're probably SK Hynix, but they could be different revisions. They could be different batch lots. They so could if you be, gave that to him, it probably could work. It might work. Or his particular Ryzen 9 3900X is just not a great chip. It is entirely possible that if he took that 3900X, grabbed another 3900X off the shelf, dropped it in, it might work great. Huh. The, the unfortunate truth with Ryzen, and I've said this before, I get a lot of flack from AMD fans for this. They go, oh, well, you're just an Intel shill. Well, no, I'm not. I'm a deal shill. Um, I love the 3900X. It's an incredible value for the money. I don't have any problem running this kind of RAM at 3200 or even 3600 on a 3900X. In fact, almost all of my Ryzen 9 3900X uh, benchmarks mm -hmm. have been done at 3600, not 3200. Correct. Correct. On an MSI X570 board. Not that exact board, but he's got a good quality board. I'm not worried about the quality of his board. AMD is just fussier with RAM than Intel is. And whenever I say, oh, AMD is fussy, I always get the fanboys who come out in the comments and go, oh, it's ridiculous. Uh, my system works fine. Well, good for you. Most systems do work fine. If they didn't, then obviously everybody would be talking about it. There would be a lot more kerfuffling. There would be a lot more kerfuffling. <laughs> but enough of the time to be annoying, it's a problem, but not enough of the time to be headline news. And to be completely blunt... That's one of the reasons why my personal home gaming PC is a 9900K and not a, a Ryzen because it's the most fuss-free thing ever. Um, they all work every time, all the time. and That doesn't help him. No. That doesn't help an AMD user. Mm -mm. But, you know, you've got a Ryzen system at home. I do. It's a very nice Ryzen system. Yes. But we're still going to replace that with an Intel system because... You like the fact that I never, ever, ever complain. And we get called shills for that. It's not shilling, it's just the truth. Um, we are live streaming, knock on wood, right now, as we're recording this, on a Ryzen 7 2700X. We have a lot of Ryzen systems. I use them all the time. They could just be a bit Krishnuffily. And um, what part our dear user needs to change is unknown. Would changing your RAM fix the problem? Maybe. Maybe even for the exact same kit. Yeah. Would changing your CPU for another 3900X solve it? Possibly. Even if they both look exactly the same. I mean, they're not. They're physically manufactured goods. There are differences. Maybe he has a poor integrated memory controller because your, your memory controller is on the chip, not your board. Maybe your board has an issue. Have you updated your BIOS? If you have, 
Bad board? I hope not because that's a pain to change. Yeah, exactly. I know this sucks. Hopefully, Rogue will come in here with a comment about this. Do you have spare parts to start swapping parts around to find the bad part? Because when this happens to me, I walk over the shelf and I grab other things and I start changing things until the problem goes away. I have had situations where I've had two RAM kits that are otherwise identical in specs, but they're not, they're different control, they're different I am, uh, ICs on here. But I've had two different RAM kits. And I'll have the same CPU, uh, or I'll have almost the same CPU and different motherboards. I've mentioned this before. You have. Uh, my particular Ryzen 7 2700X and my Ryzen 7 2700 non-X, I have one of each, on my Asus ROG Strix uh, X470-F gaming motherboard. Mm -hmm. If I put the 2700X on, a certain G-Skill memory kit works perfectly, DDR4-3200. If I swap the CPU out for the other Ryzen chip, it doesn't. But if I take that RAM off and I put the Corsair Vengeance RAM on there, works great. But if I swap the chips, the Vengeance doesn't. Welcome to Ryzen. I'll be honest, I put up with these problems because I'll just grab something else. I understand the frustration people put up with. It sucks. You bought premium RAM that was on the QVL. Yeah. You bought the right motherboard. The, the X570 Tomahawk is a good board, good components, good, good board. Good CPU. You bought the right CPU that's matched to that board. Yep. You did everything right. Mm -hmm. And Ryzen went, nope. nope. So I don't have a good answer other than to play swap the part. You can probably swap one of those parts and it'll work perfectly. I don't know which part. You just have to try it. Yeah, let us know if you figure it out. We're curious.